All right, everybody, on a 2005 Chevy Malibu, I am changing rear shocks. Bottom bolt is a 13-16 socket, and the top bolt is a 3-4 socket. So how you want to do this is you want to get a, a jack up under your um, up under your uh, your brake drum, and that'll be extra support. You already got the, the car jacked up with your regular floor jack, so you'll just use a spare jack to put up under the um, the brake drum, and that'll push up on the shock to take the tension off. So let's get this done. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. I want to say that's out of there, but I'm not sure. So, what we're going to do, we can actually hand turn it a little bit, but. Okay. And there's your shock. It is out of there. Now, we're going to remove the upper bolt. Okay. See if y'all can see that. All right, everybody, let's get that upper bolt out of there and we should be good. Upper bolt using a three four socket and it comes out real easy. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy, 2005 Chevy Malibu rear shock change. Drop that shock out of there. And I'm gonna show you the shock real quick. This is the old shock. And that's the bottom of it. And well, replacing it with new parts. These parts here are made by Doralast. It's the new shock here. Let's get it up in there. This is what we do. Fudger. Mother fudger. There you go. Right on in the place. Set your uh, your ratchet. Turn the switch to the left so you can tighten it up to the right. You could hand spin it on. Don't want to tighten it up too tight because we want to go ahead and feed the second bolt in through the bottom. Now, let's get it. Okay. Got to switch it up so you can see what we're doing here, Sonny. There you go. All right. You got your bolt, your 13 16 bolt head with your washer. And don't forget, see this washer? That goes on first. Put this through the shock. 
all right and this washer goes on the inside now let's play a little bit gotta push the shock up uh. that's why we lift weights Now you can put your ratchet on it. I could have used the impact to do it, but I didn't. It would have been a lot faster. Crazy thing is, is I got an impact socket too. And it would help if I put the 13, 16s on there. Ugh. Up everybody this is the brand new shock it's a lot of I actually like that sound you hear that that sound that's so you can reset it and turn it reset turn reset turn and you don't hear no noise you know you're doing some work washer sit a certain way all right now ah, that is torqued just perfect now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna put the top one on now I'm not going to record the other side because the other side is the same all right can you see that yeah. Just a little bit. Here we go. Now you're gonna put your um, three fourths back on there and play. All right. Now you gotta find one that actually goes on there. But shock is done. And put your tire back on. Lower all your jacks, you're good to go. Comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications.